Good morning, everyone. It is time to talk about everyone's best friend. Yeah. Of course, we're talking about our pets. You know what a soft spot uh, we have in our hearts for our animals, and we have an incredible organization joining us in studio. Absolutely. Iowa Veterinary Specialties, they are here uh, not only because they're part of our amazing contest that we have going on, our Halloween <laughs> pet photo contest. More details on that in here in a matter of moments, uh, but thank you for being a part of that, but also saying we can have so a lot of fun mm -hmm. around Halloween and the holidays. Holidays, but that also means we need to make sure we're watching out for our best friends at the same yep. time. And we Absolutely. have a veterinarian in studio with us, a new graduate. Uh, we might add a, a, a newly crowned veterinarian, I might add. <laughs> so jealous of what you do for a living. Dr. Abby Rupiper is here. Uh, you got over to uh, Iowa Veterinary Specialties how long ago? Um, it's been about six months I've been six there. Six months yep. ago, and she went to Iowa State, so yep. that, that's credibility and window with us, <laughs> which is awesome. Is how things going so far? It's been great. I feel very fortunate to be able to be working working with such great veterinarians and great people. Yeah, this is the place, folks. If you have a pet, you need to have their phone number easily accessible because mm -hmm. you are available. Your place is available 24 hours a day. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. Before we go any farther, tell everybody where it's located so people can understand. Uh, so we're like located over on Creston Avenue. So if you go down uh, 63rd, we're just off of 63rd and Creston. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're always available. We're open 24-7, like you said, holidays, weekends, everything like that. Yeah, so if anything happens, Happens, you are the go-to yep. organization. Yes, and, we are. Is that what your one, uh, main purpose is, is for emergency situations, or do you see animals on all kinds of uh, situations? So we see animals both for emergencies, and then we also have specialists available. So we have a board-certified oncologist, Dr. Green, who's available um, to see appointments. Um, and we also have a board-certified surgeon, Dr. Zellner, who comes and does surgeries at our uh, clinic as well. Absolutely. So a lot of great specialists there to take care mm -hmm. of whatever that need might exactly. be for your yep. uh, loved one. Okay, um, and you can see a, an amazing facility as we're yeah. showing mm -hmm. you some uh, B-roll here of what the facility looks like and all the different things that you guys are able to provide. You even, even have a big trailer out back that has more equipment in it. Yeah, yeah. we do actually. We have a, we're able to do CT on site, which on -site. not a lot of clinics can say that they're able to do. And we're talking about big animals too because you have a lift that can actually bring bigger animals yep. up into the back of the, yep, the, the unit too. Yep, that's right. Usually we're talking about like big dogs or things like that, but um, who knows? Maybe Maybe if some, something bigger were able to come in, who knows? Who knows? So they are ready You're for prepared everything. prepared and ready, ready to go. Yes, and I love are. that. So let, let's make sure we're prepared around the holidays. Yes. What are some things we should be thinking about uh, when it comes to maybe costumes or the food that's around the holiday yep. season? So Halloween coming up, that's a, a big holiday where we're probably going to be seeing some emergencies um, at Iowa Veterinary Specialties um, with all the candy that's available. So yeah. kids going trick-or-treating, things like that. So what we get worried about is chocolate ingestion in our, our cats um, and more importantly our dogs. Why so is that? So what can happen is chocolate contains a couple different uh, compounds in it that can be toxic to both cats and dogs. We don't see chocolate ingestion so much in cats um, because they typically stay away from things that they're not really interested in. <laughs> uh, but our dogs who are always looking for something to get into, yes. um, we get worried about chocolate ingestion. And, and how much chocolate are we talking that could cause an issue? So it really depends on the type of chocolate, but really any chocolate ingestion, we would be concerned about the pet and most likely want to be able to um, have them be seen by a veterinarian. So is it the darker it is, the more toxic, yeah. or how does that look? Yep, so um, kind of on the spectrums of, of things, we have white chocolate kind of on one end, yep. all the way up to dark chocolate, cocoa powder, things like that. Right. Um, with dark chocolate being more concentrated with those kind of, um, those compounds that we get worried about, such as caffeine, um, methyl xanthines, and then theobromine. And what is that doing? Is it attacking the system, or it just makes them feel Ill? So what it'll make it them feel pretty crummy. Um, but things we get worried about are vomiting, diarrhea, um, and then uh, ingestion of larger amounts can actually cause tremors and even seizures. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, what can you do for that in case you find out your dog got into your, your goodie stash of candy and ate a bunch of chocolate? What can you do? So I would definitely recommend calling a veterinarian as soon as possible to discuss with them about how much chocolate they ingested, how long ago they ingested it, uh, and then following up with them about um, the next steps to take for your pet. Okay, so chocolate is number one on your yeah. checklist mm -hmm. to keep away from uh, your pets. Now, yep. what else is on that list? Something else we get worried about now with kind of the trend towards doing more healthy options for trick-or-treating and things like that are raisins. Raisins? Mm-hmm. So what can happen is raisins can actually cause kidney failure uh, in dogs. And so we get worried that. about that. Yep. 
Silly I question, but is that this, is that true for grapes as well? Yes. It has to yep. be, yeah. Yep, yep. So grapes and raisins, same thing. So if dogs ingest even one grape, it can actually cause them to go into kidney failure. I had absolutely no idea about mm -hmm. that. And so if at any time you think your your dog or your cat even has gotten into grapes or raisins, right. call a veterinarian as soon as possible. Possible, wow. Mm -hmm. And there's still things you can do if you find that they have ingested something like that. Yep, yep. So uh, things we can do are, in, are inducing vomiting, so try to decontaminate them as soon as possible, right. um, and then supportive care such as intravenous fluids and other intravenous medications. Okay. Right. Is there anything else that we need to, to keep an eye out for, especially this time of year? Well, from Halloween going into Thanksgiving, that's when we wonder about, um, we start seeing kind of those more fatty foods and things like that. Um, our dogs, they like to get into turkey bones, pork bones, Absolutely. things like that, and that can cause actually a, a pretty severe process called pancreatitis, where it can cause vomiting, diarrhea, it can make them feel really painful, um, and we get worried about those guys. And so if at any point um, owners are concerned about their pets having um, vomiting or diarrhea, we recommend them being seen. Now let's talk about something else that we, you mentioned uh, with Thanksgiving, which means there's a lot of people a lot of times if you yep. come over to your house, mm -hmm. and a lot of dogs get very anxious if it isn't just your core family. Yep, that's right. Um, both with Halloween with kind of the doorbells, oh, and, the doorbells and, yeah. and people coming around, yep, and then Thanksgiving with um, lots of people that they might not recognize, we get worried about um, our dogs and cats maybe having a little bit of anxiety. Uh, and so if you're concerned about your pet might be a little anxious around the holidays um, or that they might get anxious with all the doorbell ringing with beggars night and things like that, right. um, we recommend to people to talk to their veterinarians to potentially um, have a discussion about what things we can do to make them more comfortable. Yeah, and it could be anything from uh, maybe a, a shirt that, that you can put on the dog that calm them yep, down. Yep, so there are thunder shirts. Thunder That's, shirts, exactly mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. And, yep. and do you have those available at your place or do you recommend different places? Um, well, um, people can follow up with their daytime veterinarians as well. Okay. Um, so they're kind of wellness visit um, type veterinarians. But then if people ever have any questions, we're more than happy to answer questions at Iowa Veterinary Specialties. But we want to remind everybody, uh, the holidays can be a fun season as well. So. If if you'd like to dress up your pooch in yep. a nice, safe, comfortable costume, even if it's just for a few seconds to get that photo, <laughs> like my animals. Uh, you guys are a part of a, a wonderful contest we have going on right now. Yeah, so I'm really excited. We're doing a, a pet Halloween costume contest. With Howl Oween. Howl Oween. Howl yes. contest. Um, so people can actually submit pictures of their pets to um, the CW Live, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll vote on those, and then um, on Halloween, it sounds like you guys will be announcing we'll be the announcing winner. We'll be announcing the yes. winner. Yep, but you have a chance up until the 24th to get your pictures in. Then on the 25th, we're going to give you a chance to start voting on all these. And the whole prize package uh, between uh, what Iowa Veterinary Specialties, the gift basket that you folks mm -hmm. have prepared, mm -hmm. and the gang over at Pet Supplies Plus have prepared. It's about a $300 grand prize. So that's a pretty sweet little deal. I saw a picture of it. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. There's an there's a indoor nest camera included. Oh, there in is? It. What? Yeah. No yep. way. Yep. So you can keep an eye on your on your little doggy yep. or kitty exactly. cat or anybody. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. I gotta have someone else submit my dog. So <laughs> maybe I have a chance. Jack Schmellen. <laughs> okay. Uh, so thank you so much for being a part of this contest. We know it's going to be a lot of fun. But in case people need to use your services and specialties, uh, how can they get in touch with you? So we're open, like I said, 24/7. So 515-280-3100 is our telephone number. Okay. And with any questions or concerns, if if people are wondering, hey, um, I just want to ask a question and see if my dog should be seen, we, we are more than happy to answer questions at any time. I love that. And iowaveterinaryspecialties.com if you want to check them out online as well. And put that in phone number. If you own a pet, put that yeah. phone number down where it's easily accessible. 280-3100 just in case something happens. You know where it is. You can go to it and get some assistance. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for Great coming. Great to see you this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so for joining us. Right. It's 822.